Welcome back, friends. Well, he stops by every week to help us learn things and increase those brain cells, and we yeah. love him for it. Our friend Rick joins us now for another lesson in electricity. Electricity. Uh, so electricity is, is a electromagnetic form of energy, and it's always been around, but about in the 1800s, people found ways to harness it. And one of my first uh, things that I talk about is the battery. We use batteries mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, there was a, uh, a, an Italian scientist, Alessandro uh, Volta, and that's where we get Volt from. Really? And then there was a British scientist, uh, John Stringfellow, and they, in about 1800, they came up with a battery. So these things you can do at home uh, and learn a lot like electricity, and kids love doing this. And I have to do it on the, uh, on the low cost. And so a battery or a circuit, circuit means circle, and so you have a, a secret language. And if you know this language, you mm -hmm. can make lots of money. Uh, these are what electricians use okay. and engineers. That means light bulb, and this means battery. And you can actually can look at these. Can hold it up for you? Yeah, Is that sure. Okay? And, uh, so you, you, so if you know some of these yeah. secret language, I always tell kids, uh -huh. you can understand more about electricity. So a simple circuit, a simple circuit starts with a battery, a path or a wire, a bulb, and a switch. And so I like to use like just any battery you have at home, and for wire, aluminum foil. Oh. So aluminum foil is easy to work with, and then tape. Now you need to know about uh, conductors. An insulator. So a conductor, like on a train, mm -hmm. lets things pass. Mm -hmm. An insulator stops. And so we can make a real simple circuit just by having our source. And you see, we can draw this out. And if I hook this right here on that and on this side, we might get, oh, there we you go. You got your conductor. Oh, that's awesome. And so the kids can just kind of. Oh, and well, so, you've made it so accessible, too, because yeah. you're using homemade things. It, homemade it really things. simplifies something yeah. that seems a little intimidating to understand. How about at Christmas time when one, one light bulb yeah. goes out? Right. It's terrible. That uh -huh. is a series circuit. So here's a series circuit. You notice they're all in line. So if I put my battery here, here's my switch over here. Now, you can see, Anessa, if one of these go out, the path is completely lost. But we now have a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit says electricity can go through any of these loops. So I'll do this, but we have a problem. It's not working. So mm -hmm. here's our switch. Put that down. Look oh, that. very cool. Now, Look the cool thing about a parallel, you don't want your house to be serious. Because if one light bulb goes out, the whole house goes yeah, out. Yeah, that would not be a good thing. But <laughs> watch what happens if I take this one out. It still goes around. So there's a difference between a parallel and a series right. circuit. So a lot of people think that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. He, he really didn't. He improved upon it. And so I always like to do a, a light bulb dissection. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you take a look at a light bulb, it's kind of cool, really. Electricity comes through the bottom, goes through this filament, and comes out the side. It has to come in and out. What Thomas Edison did was he spent thousands of experiments trying to make this filament. The filament's that little curly thing that heats up and we get our light from it. Yeah. So I brought something today to try to show you. This is a, <laughs> um, this has a filament. This will only last for a second because when I turn it on, it's going to burn and the oxygen is going to cause it to break. If it works, hope it does. So it's too hot. Inside of a light bulb, there's a vacuum. There's mm -hmm. no air. So let's turn this on and see what happens. It should be just a second. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. So that's what he figured out, was how to make that last. How to make that last. And can you imagine them sitting there when they had one that lasted one minute, two minutes, an hour and a half? Right. They actually conquered darkness. Before then... I love the way you put things, yeah. scientists, for it. Conquered darkness. They, they we only did. have a few seconds left, okay, and so, you have something bubbling over yeah, there. So the problem with this, it's too hot, right? So I just happened to bring some liquid nitrogen today. <laughs> so, he said he had leftover liquid nitrogen, and he didn't know what to do with it. I'm like, Rick, I have leftover basil. I don't know what to do with not leftover liquid so nitrogen. This, what are we uh, doing with I'm it? I'm going to put this in this socket, and instead of turning it on in air where it will burn out, if I can keep it cold with the liquid nitrogen, this ought to be pretty cool. And let's see, I'll wow. put it down in here, and it will start to boil. And I'll turn it on, if I can find the switch. Here we go, ready? 
There you go. Do you guys and hear that? That's Isn't cool. cool. And what's happening here is the liquid nitrogen is uh, inert, and it's allowing that to not burn out. Oh when I lift goodness. it up, what do you think is going to happen? Go off. It, it will go off. Here we go. Nothing will blow up. <laughs> no. Unlike Three, what two, George one. wants, it will. There you go. Fantastic job. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Rick, we can't wait until you come back. You always teach us so many things that blows our minds. Guys, I'm going to send it on over to you. Thank you, Rick.